Hey there guys, how's it hanging? Z-Man here, and just a quick one for you today. So, basically, for those of you who have seen my last video, the villager breeder, towards the end there where I was giving my little tip whereby you can convert white code villagers to other white code villagers, I was curious if we can actually do that or to reset actual enchants. So, turns out we can, <laughs> which is what this video is about, obviously. So, you once again, you still need a stick, or I would recommend a stick, this with the purification enchant. Let's go ahead and we cure this guy. He's a cartographer, so he's dead in my eyes anyway. And just let him bite him. Meanwhile, we could do this one here. And we have a librarian here, multi shot 3, which is very nice. But uh, let's just go ahead and let him turn him again. And now let's see this guy here. Librarian now with Underworld Strider. Once again, very nice. And let's just do this in kind of round robin mode like this. And now we see this guy has now got lure one. And that's basically this is about. <laughs> so just keep doing this on repeat. Obviously if you want the... Uh, just close the door before you turn him so the villager doesn't get aggro. And now we just go ahead and turn him. And voila, now he's got shocking three. So, basically, that is... Oh, he's got armor now, look at that, huh? weird anyway and now subject p and that's all we do this little setup here um let me just explain this you need the slab here to block his line of sight if the zombie villager aggro is on you then he will as well and he will they all will and then they won't attack the villagers like they should so you just need to run to like over there which is basically 32 blocks away so to drop aggro and the same with if you have a villager that you actually want to keep if you see them if you see that they stop uh attacking the villagers is because they'd aggroed on another villager or on you. So block line of sight with the villager and with these guys. So when they turn, they don't aggro on you or the villager. If they do and you want to keep that villager, just go in with your rock on top here. Just grab him on his bald head and take him all the way over there. Pop him in your, you know, your little collection pit or however you're organizing them, your little trading hall. And then voila, he will start aggroing on these guys again. So let me just do this so he turns them yet again. Simply because I don't want him to mess up this next part. Oh, by the way, this layout, let me just show you guys that quickly. Pretty simple. Just a blank block with trapdoor and a fence door on top. So if you guys want to build this sort of build, you obviously have to lure your zombie in first. And then point him in there. Just put a trapdoor facing that way and that way. So if it opens up, it opens up that way. Shift right click, just a fence door on top, shift right click, fence door on top, and then it is just basically glass from there to obstruct his view. Obviously here you need a solid block on top because of redstone things. So just get ourselves a lever and a little blotch of redstone like that. And then voila, obviously here you build your little pit. Let me just do that part as well, I guess, just for demonstration purposes. And then we just point a slab there. And that is where you'll be turning your villagers. You can break this part out so you can grab him with your rock. You know, or if you want to transport him whatever other way, of course, go ahead and do that as well. Now, for those of you who really want to spice things up, you can build yourself the Villager Zombie Giga Chad Converter 5 million over here. And yes, it has to be named that way. It has been, uh, what do you call it, trademark. So yes, you have to say that uh, that that way every single time, or else it will explode at random. And anyway, so you can do that, which is basically the same setup here, apart from we have our zombie in the middle there, and you've got four sides, and then we got four all around. Then, very important, you know, still block out the v division, otherwise you'll have that same thing where they keep aggroing in you, very annoying. And then this, I've put this here to remind myself, you guys should, like you see this guy here, he's an infernal, so every now and then they'll turn into an inf infernal mob, so build it out of obsidian, because infernal mobs can have the little explodey explodey thing imaging on them, which is not very good for a little thing like this, where you don't want things exploding. So yeah, just keep that in mind, build it out of obsidian if you want to, and then, you know, it'll keep them contained if you do get one that does explode. And then on the top here, this is just a nymph, which I've name tagged, of course. The zombie in the middle, you should name tag as well. That is Mr. Kevin. And there's a Kevin too. 
So in the middle here, uh, yeah, just get yourself a nymph there. You can get them to spawn indoors. I've made a, uh, you know, a simple video, you can see it on my channel. How to make a nymph spawn inside your base with flowers. It's not too hard. Then you just uh, trap her in there, name tag her. And that is basically when we go around here. If you have a sword or if you're just unlucky, they don't always cure. So when we do cure him and his life drops, then we just leave her to heal him up again instead of you know having him die because i'd much rather take she, she does heal him while he's taking damage but i'd much rather keep my villager alive and you know it, it have it take a little bit longer for him to get turned into a zombie than him just die completely and so uh yeah we just go ahead and you die and then just flick this up and then we cure this one again we just do this in round robin cartographer you are dead to me and then yeah you just keep doing that let's see what this guy's gonna do hopefully nothing voila let's see if this one's actually worth keeping double jump yeah so see say we want that one then all we do is i will get our wayne the rock as some people say and we oh, let me just grab this guy come here listen to me i've got to get out of here Come with me. And then we just fly him over here. This is 40 or so blocks away. And then we just yoink him down here. And you know, as long as it's further than 32 blocks away from all of them, then let me just get down. Stop it. As long as it's more than 32 blocks away from these guys, then they'll drop their aggro. Otherwise, if you if you if you're in closer range than this, then they will keep their aggro and they won't attack the other villages that are next to them, which is quite annoying. And then uh, voila, you just keep on doing this up until you get the enchants that you want. And that is basically it, guys. Uh, anyways, I hope that helped you guys with your uh, your trading halls and so on. And that that is it. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> anyway, thought that was a cool little fact, so I made a little video. And that is all. Thank you guys for watching. And this is Zergur saying goodbye. Take care and cheers.